Hello my dear students first of all happy new year to all of you and welcome back again in our mathematics class so today we are going to discuss about the chapter chapter number 8 who is heavier from the name you can name of the chapter you can easily understand that this chapter is related to mass so what is mass you know that very well from the previous class and the units of what we are going to discuss here we are going to discuss here addition subtraction multiplication and division on mass that means you know that as mass is a physical component so we can measure the mass of any object so there will be a unit and what is the un uh, standard unit of mass you will answer it in my comment section so today we are going to discuss about the addition subtraction multiplication and division on mass already you have learned it that how to add two different units how to subtract two different units but here we are going to discuss about only on mass units mm, different mass we will add we will subtract we will multiply let's start with some examples before going to start the procedure i want to tell you one thing that you need to make a habit of reading the question twice because you are making mistakes when you are writing the questions when you are write answering in the copy that time you are making mistakes um, to write the uh, question properly sometimes you are in place of 2 you are writing 3 in place of 4 you are writing 5 so don't do this after writing the numbers you have to check whether you have written the right uh, one or the wrong so in first of all you need to read the question very carefully this question see arrange in column and add 69 kg 345 g 72 kg 576 g and 6 kg 99 g so here two different units are involved what are the two different units kilogram and gram so how many columns you have to make two different columns you have to make one for kg another for gram if all the all the numbers all the different um, amounts are in gram then you have to write only in gram and after that you can convert and also you can convert the uh, gram part in uh, kilogram and gram before first of all you need to know the relationship between kg and gram 1 kg equals to how many gram 1 kg equals to 1000 gram so how many um, how many digits we can place under gram three maximum digits we can place under gram after that what will come means in carry you will write it uh, you will add it in kg portion so check my answer it is 148 kg 20 look at the second example arrange in column and add first of all you need to read the question very carefully 6 kg 345 g 320 g and 6 k 6 kg so two different units are involved here first of all you need to make two columns of kg and gram then you have to put the numbers in proper place 6 kg 345 g that means 6 will be placed under kg and 345 will be placed under gram so after that 320 g there is no kg part so we should write only 320 under gram and we should put zero under kg then 6 kg is there no gram part is there that means you will write uh, 6 under kg now we can add and we are getting 12 kg 665 this two types of questions uh, i have shown here and uh, important thing is you need to write the answer in the end so that we can understand that it is kg part and it is gram part that means 12 kg 665 gram so in this way you have to represent the answer look at the third example arrange in column and subtract 21 kg 700 gram from 49 kg 
gram. So here also two different units are involved and how to subtract you know that very well. So you have to subtract here. First of all you need to place the numbers in proper place. In subtraction the uh, thing is three different uh, terms is there minuend, subtrahend and difference. So what is minuend? The bigger one, the bigger number. So which one minuend will be in the upper portion. So 49 kg 700 gram will be in the top and 21 kg 700 gram will be under uh, 49 kg 700 gram. So after that I have subtracted and I have got 28 kg only because there is no gram per. Now look at the fourth example. Arrange in column and subtract. 3 kg 400 gram from 10,056 gram. So the thing is here two different units are there kg and gram but the uh, minuend which is the bigger one that is not converted. So first of all you can convert it. How to convert you know that I have not shown here the process. If you know if you need to do the workout here you can do it first and after that you will write the column write it in the columns. So the 10,056 gram that means 10 kg 56 gram so you should write like this way uh, under kg you can write 10 and under under gram you can write 0, 056 after that uh, 3 kg for 400 gram so you have to write the numbers in proper place and after subtraction i have got 6 kg 600 6 kg 656 gram so here you have to subtract and uh, if you you know that that in under gate in under gram you can write maximum three digits so and after that you have to write the final answer also 6 kg 656 now look at the fifth example multiply 15 kg 230 gram by 6 so here already the amount is in converted mode so you need to make two columns of kg and gram after that you should put 15 under kg and 230 under gram you have to multiply it by 6 so when you are multiplying just check that you should write maximum 3 digits under gram okay so i have got here 91 kg 380 gram so look at the sixth number question multiply 455 uh, milligram by 8 so here I have made two columns why I have made it because uh, we know that if any carry will be there uh, because we can write maximum three digits under milligram if uh, four digits will be there it will be in the place of gram that's why I have already made the mm, column of gram so after multiplication what I have got 3 gram 600 40 milligram so check the answer 8 fives are 40 so 0 will be there 4 is carry 8 fives are 40 40 plus 4 44 so 4 is there 4 is carry 4 8 are 32 32 plus 4 36 so 6 will be there in in under m milligram but 3 will be under gram let's discuss our seventh number question See, divide 11 kg 120 gram by 5. So, here already the amount converted in gram and kg. So, we need to make two columns, kg and gram. Under kg, we can write 11. Under gram, we can write 120. Now, we can divide. See, how to divide? 5, 2 is 10. So, uh, first you put 10 here. Then one is sub, uh, the subtracted result is one. Then take the take one from gram, and then five two is a ten. Again one to twelve. Then five two is a ten. Then again two zero twenty. That means four five is a twenty. So the answer is two kg two hundred twenty four gram. See, check my answer whether it is correct or incorrect. So. Now example number 8 divide 45,780 milligram by 2. See it is already it is 
only in milligram so how to divide you can divide it normally how to divide see check my division uh, and after that you can convert it in the end if it is not required then no need to convert you can leave it like uh, in a milligram only if it is required that you have to convert that time you should convert it okay so if the question is asking you to convert it in gram and milligram that time you can convert otherwise you can write 22,890 milligram if you uh, know that how to convert you if you want to convert you can convert it then but if it is mandatory for the question that you have to convert it in gram and kilogram milligram that time you have to convert so in this way we can uh, solve the addition subtraction multiplication so just look at the homework this is your homework you have to do it you have to do the practice you have to practice it so the questions are addition subtraction multiplication and division you have to solve it and you can uh, send the answers in the comment section also so thank you